But at least it actually generated a world. So let's quickly try a larger world and see if the planetary recon will function this time. As always, Cassandra. As always. Uh... Let's see if it'll generate without crashing now. Successfully managed to do one. Will it do another? Let's find out. Well, even... That's the thing. That, that's the problem with revenge. It doesn't end until they're dead. As far as I'm aware. So even if we ran and hid, then it would have it made a difference. They still would have... You know, same thing. They would have burst through the doors. Slash wall. Excuse me. Slash wall. They would have been in there, and it would have just been death. So, yeah. <laughs> still... That was that was ballsy of me, and obviously completely and utterly foolish to think I could take on the mammoths. But hey, I, you know, I tried. <laughs> I kind of like the boreal forest, though. I mean, it's all swamps and such, and I could definitely expect winter there, but still, I like it. Tropical jungle, temperate forest... Here, we got some boreal forest here. Wait, I can actually embark in here? I shouldn't be able to. Because I literally have no way out, and nothing should have any way in to me. This is actually an interesting one right here. It's a large valley uh, with only the one kind of uh, entranceway in there. Ooh, let's actually try this. I wonder if I'd actually get that creek running through here. There's a river, that's better. Let's go with this. Let's make it a large one. Mountainous River Boreal Forest. Let's totally check that out. Prepare carefully, be legit. Hmm. Oh, god damn, that actually gives me an insane amount of points like that. In that case, we'll totally add on some characters. Ha! Huh? Like, what caused you to be so insane? There we go. Oh! Incapable of dumb labor and all this other crap, though. That doesn't... That doesn't gel with me, man. That's actually pretty good. Except for the melee, I don't... Not a fan. Not a fan of melee. Alright, that's not too bad. You're somewhat decent at a few things. I'll give you growing animals. Uh, we'll leave the cooking to somebody else, I guess. Nope, 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 nope. Come on. There we go. Incapable of none. It's a paramedic, apparently. Uh, I guess we have our doctor again. Well, actually, we had a doctor anyway. Scientist here. But it's always good to have more than one doctor. God knows how quick, how short their lifespans are. So we got social, we definitely need more than one damn crafter would help. Congratulations, you're an artist, meh. Yeah, sure, I'll give you the cooking skills here too. Only need one of you. That'll be fine. Okay, equipment. We have the horse, we have the granite blocks, everything that we need, for the most part, for the most part. I definitely want to bring more of that with me. What else did I want to bring, though? That's the question. Okay, more than one infield is going to cost me way too much damn money. 
200 is more than enough granite blocks. I can actually set the relationships. Interesting. Let's go ex-lover of the guy that looks like Jason. There we go. That sounds like an interesting little twist. Alright, let's go through it again here. Alright, we'll get Matt on there. Woodsworth. Spartan's still around, and we'll go Cags, I guess. We'll give Cags the last one. Alright. May you die with dignity. Indeed it is. Can I be a, the horse this time? She was the only one to survive. <laughs> she was. She was. This time we're going for dictatorship. Alicia is our dictator. All hail our new dictator. May her reign be long and prosperous. Interesting, uh, interesting spawn here to say the least. This is a nice choke point area, but I'm wondering if there's enough materials and such here. We got rare materials, materials. We have a steam geyser. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm not sure if they can cross the river or not. They probably can. Ooh, a woolly horse mare. I want to tame those. Uh, let me check here. Spartan is the only one I guess to tame. We actually have a really nice little zone in here. I'm assuming there's a couple of locations like that where they can still get in at us, but, you know, other than that, it's really nice. Relatively enclosed. I think I'll even just start building, like, right here. Yeah, rather than putting my base deeper in, which I could easily do... Why don't I just start right out here? I mean, I might have to wall this section in, and this one right here, but all in all, it's not bad. Not to mention we have these uh, mufalos here, and I can actually, potentially, if I could quickly get some wa a wall built there, a long one, I could lock them in there, and I'd have them as a breeding, you know, safely tucked away as kind of a breeding stock. That's a that's actually a really good idea. Alright, let's put our storage room in here then. Alright. 
something with structure, furniture. Oh, he actually has a hand axe. No wonder. He doesn't just look like Jason, he even has a freaking axe. Not a machete, yes, but still. He has an axe. So, clearly, someone's gonna get murdered. Clearly. Probably the ex-wife. Or lover. Cough. More than likely. That's my guess. Oh! 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 These walls are actually made of aluminum! And those walls are made of tin! And I just accidentally told them to disassemble one. We have a bit of jade. Uh, we got some... Oh, it's a copper wall, actually. We do have coal, we do have iron, but I'd have to get to it. I don't really want to breach this, but at the same time I could also make use of all the stuff around there, so I'm actually thinking I will breach this. I'll just have to add proper defenses there. I'm seeing a lot of stuff I like here. Chop this wood, damn it. Chop all that wood. Alright, let me go ahead and... That'll be good for now. Everyone hauls. Everything else looks good. Everyone should be chopping wood. Deconstruct that for me. You go deconstruct that one. We need colonist beds. I know. We'll get that done later. I think one of the versions of Friday the 13th had a fire axe or wood axe. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, God. Someone's vomiting. Oh, he's got cryo sleep sickness. That's unfortunate. We even have a deposit of crude oil right there, too. So we have everything we need. This is a resource paradise, basically. But, uh... Hmm. Let me look around here a bit more. So we have our magnes. A lot of magnes. We do have tin. We have iron, as I saw before. We do have a lot of coal. More coal. A lot of coal on this map, which is really good. My only question and concern is, do we have any nickel? Or any other of the advanced materials that I need in order to, you know, really get things going? Yep, we do have nickel. Woo! We got nickel! So, that will allow me to produce the advanced mechanism. Oh, we even have titanium! I love this map. I love this map. Alright, clearly I'm going to have to cut out this section of the uh, video and use this as my new starting zone. Because, you know, shit's just fantastic. Shit's far too fantastic not to. But I don't think I'll go too far into this one here today. We'll have to restart this another day. I don't want all those trees chopped down, actually. Honestly. Those few should do. My god, man. Stop vomiting all over the place. Seriously. Let's get a nice big growing zone here. For our potatoes. Who was our best grower? Woodsworth. Well, it's taken him forever and a half to do that anyway, so we'll get him off that. You, on the other hand, have a slightly better construction skill. I mean, hell, even she's getting that done in a relatively decent amount of time. Oh, wait, hold up. Let the pro do it. Sow them seeds, damn it. Enough of your cryo sickness shenanigans. Stop vomiting on my freaking planting area. Wankers. 
what is your normal stream time? Honestly, lately it's been about, you know, the same time as this evening. Like, late evenings uh, tend to be my uh, stream times. I try to at least send a tweet out, you know, a good 10, 15 minutes before I start. But, yeah, it really varies a lot. I don't honestly have a very consistent scheduling right now. And considering I'm literally moving in, like, five days... I'm honestly not sure how my streaming schedule is going to be affected and my recording schedule in that regard as well. I'm going to have to kind of, you know, feel things out as it goes. I just realized that he's not the only one. This one also has a hammer. Spartan has a construction hammer. Which definitely speeds up the process. So apparently so the guys that I... Yeah, these guys actually came with some really nice gear. That's why they cost so much. Like they have a Mega Sloth Wool Baklava. Or Balklava. Baklava. What the hell am I saying? It isn't Ukrainian and it isn't edible. Anyway, I digress. He still has a nice backpack as well. I digress. So yeah, my recording capabilities might be temporarily kind of, you know, sketchy, I'll say. I'll still more than likely be able to record stuff, but due to my new neighbors, as it were, I'm not sure how well streaming is going to go, just because I'm not necessarily the quietest of folk, <laughs> as it were, so yeah. I'd rather not have anyone kicking in my door. Pretty much. So yeah, that's that's how that's going pretty much. Anyway though, anyway, let me quickly just designate a zone here for this guy, and I think I'm gonna call things here for now. As I am uh, definitely a bit tired and I would like to pass out as I do have to finish a lot of uh, packing tomorrow and get the, get a lot of it over with, which I haven't gotten around to yet, so I definitely need to get working on that. But yeah, that's good enough for now, so we're going to save this one here. But yeah, thank you very much everyone for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a fantastic evening, and I'll see you all next time.